Okay, I've been Sam. Uh, I got two more of my mystery boxes in the mail, and I already see one book that I used to have got rid of. Now I'm debating whether or not to keep it or get rid of it. So, um, but the first book that I see is A Man in Full, Tom Wolf. Weird cover. Okay, I've, I've, I've never read it, but I've, I've heard the one fire of the vanities. this thing. Not really my cup of tea. Then I got Joseph Smith the Prophet by Tr Truman G. Madison. Yeah, oh, this one. <laughs> oh wait, if you be messing with another box, I'm putting the ones I'm not keeping in the box. The story of a Washington newspaper person, A. H. by Alan Dury. Keep this one too. I'm just reading a little bit, and if it catches me, I'll keep it. I can't even pronounce this. OKP Fever uh, by Philip Dolly. A lot of these I've never still old. Uh, Bar Bartleby the Scre Scre Is it even English? Okay, I should make sure. Bartleby the Scree Veneer Benin Bento Sir Neo Billy Bud by Herman Melville. Oh, wait, is this like multiple? Yeah, I think this is like three different ones by Herman Melville. If it was Moby Dick, I'd actually keep it, but I think he's the one that wrote that one, right? Yeah. I don't know any other stories by him. I'm not, no offense, I'm not probably going to. I'm probably not going to keep this one either. The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat and Other Clinical Tales by Oliver Sacks. Um, God Save the Queen by Dorothy Cannell. Okay, 
might actually keep this one. Uh, it seems like a mystery. These are old, it looks like. Bride of Pandoric by Victoria Holt. I might keep this one. I might actually keep this one. It's cool. It sounds cool. I might keep this one too, it depends. The Rosary Murders. Well, this is Advanced Readers. I might keep this one too. <laughs> it sounds like is that is that true crime? I don't know whether this is a true crime or based on a true crime or something. <laughs> Jonathan Faye. Oh, Jonathan and Faye kill double homicide. I'm going to get rid of this one. I mean, I kind of want to keep it, but I kind of want to get rid of it sometime. Well, I'll probably keep it, but if I, if I read and I don't like it, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of that one again. Oh, I'm not keeping it. That's the one that I had at one point. I was debating whether or not to keep it. I'm straight up just going to get rid of it. <laughs> Through the Fire by Donna Hill. Not even read these because I know I got them and I really like the Harlequin Queen kind of, especially freaking um, inspired the inspired ones. I'm probably gonna keep these. I, I got Love Inspired, The Cowboy's Homecoming by Brenda Minton, and then The Lawman's Noel by Stella Bagwell. I'm probably gonna keep those. Stone Box Lost and Lost and Found by Carolyn Parkhurst. I yeah, might actually end up keeping this one too. I'll probably use this box to uh, put the one I'm keeping in it. Confident, 50 mindfulness and relaxation exercises to, bo to boost your self esteem by Dr. Arlene K. Unger. I'm getting rid of it. The storied life of A.J. Figury. Husband for her 
by Susan Wigg, Heart of the West. Well, that's another uh, key boot. Uh, it's a whole one. <laughs> Give it a shot. I love those books. So. Oh. It takes a village. Children teach us by Hillary Rodman Clinton. Hillary Clinton, like Hillary Clinton. I don't of it. <laughs> the Nanny Diaries by Emma McLaughlin and Nicole Cross. It's a movie. Stuart Woods Iron Orchid? Wait, don't I have I don't know if it's the same dude. It's called if I'm mistaken Blue Orchid. I might keep this one and see if I, if this is connected to that audiobook I have. It's called Blue Orchid or Blood Orchid or something like that. If it is, I'm keeping this. If not, I'm getting rid of it. Me, You, Us, A Book to Fill Out Together by Lisa Curie, author of The Scribble Diary. Well, uh, I'm getting rid of this because no offense, it doesn't seem like me, so me and my, my boyfriend go together. Um, it's funny, no. <laughs> I actually look about. I don't think I got that on eBay. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm probably gonna keep this. Uh, this is a kids' book. Time to pee. Um, by Mo Williams. I think it just teaches you how to potty. <laughs> but that's for my son. Another book. Nancy, a fancy Nancy. Tie your shoes. Can't tell you who wrote this, but I might keep this one for him too. I think the rest of these are probably good books. That's weird. I ordered that. Oh wait, this might be the one I think I put that said surprise me or something. So there's probably two still. Okay. One little reindeer. Counting playbooks. I Love Cats by Barney Salzberg. Um, I was about ready to say I might get rid of this one, but I'm looking at it and I kind of want to keep it. So, The World of Theater. The History of Actors, Singers, Costumes, Audience, and Scenery. I think I have any one of these. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep these. I'm kind of collecting these. The Bernstein Bears and Too Much Car Trip by Jan Bernstein. 
And another one, come Commer call co commercials and dollars dollars and cents. Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed by Ellen Crislow. One more. Okay. Happy Birthday to You, a pop up book. I'll probably keep this one too if it's okay. If it's in good shape. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess you're not a little ripped or anything. This one I'm going to have to. Okay, got to keep that connection. Hmm. Oh, okay. It says right there. Uh, okay, yeah. Five pounds uh, mystery book box, a children's assortment, and then five pounds mystery book box, 100% mystery. I thought that was going to be like 100% like all mystery books or something, but I must have got confused. Well, uh, that's all I got right now. The ones that I'm not keeping, I'm putting in the little free library. The ones that I am are going to my bookshelf. Yeah, that's all I got to um, tell you guys right now and show you. Um, if I get any more, I'll let you guys know. I'm pretty sure I'm expecting a couple more though. I could actually check right now, but I'll check later. Um, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.